Hello and welcome Sagittarius. My name is Dragu. I live at the base of Mount Shasta. Born and raised in beautiful Mount Shasta, California. I also run a private horse rescue and I make custom pet urns as well as do tarot readings. I'm here to do a reading for you Sagittarius. Your first oracle card for this reading is McLentacutli. McLentacutli is the king of the dead in the afterlife, along with his wife, McDekikwaddle. He forms the binary and complementary opposition of disaggregation of bodies and matter. We see him devouring a body for rupture and fading out are the starting point of any successful work of creation or regeneration. He is the alchemic salve to separate, the analysis before synthesis, the phoenix that dies and turns to ashes before rebirth. The advice of the dead is time to look at the situation from a more in-depth point of view, to analyze the circumstances before you before putting the pieces back together. Your second oracle card for this reading is Tezcatlipoco. Tezcatlipoco is the ancient god of the night, of war, of education and temptation. He is portrayed holding a mirror with which he kills his enemies, forcing them to face their contradictions and discordance. For this reason, he is governed by the archetype of chaos, but he is also capable of sacrificing himself. In fact, he lost a leg after using it as a bait to attract the monster Kipakli, whose body was used to form the earth and human beings. The advice of the dead, assess in a period of pause and meditation, what needs to be sacrificed to leave the chaos you find yourself in. You will thus be able to obtain great advantages from this new perspective. Sagittarius sounds like you've got some stuff going on here. Okay, I'm gonna do a 12 card reading for you, Sagittarius. Um, I have tarot readings, private tarot readings available on my website. It's draguartworks.com. They're only 15 bucks right now. Um, you can ask a question or ask for a general reading. And um, how I fulfill those is I make a video very similar to this and upload it to YouTube and send you the link. I also have my custom pet urns on there. Um, the link is in the description. So please check that out if you'd like to. All right, Sagittarius, enough about me. Let's find out about you here. Your first card is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is long-term sustainable results. It's investing in an outcome. Uh, the little farmer guy here has put all this work into growing the seeds and working the earth and now it's growing on the vine and uh he's getting near to harvest and he's happy about it. he's got his little rake there got all his little little pinnacles growing on the vine there and he's excited he can't wait for harvest time this is about perseverance uh nearing nearing the harvest but it could also mean that you're frustrated with slow results on something and that you're like, hurry up already. Come on. We want to harvest here. Um, that could also be. All right. Your next card is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is happy home, happy family. It looks like your family life, your home life is doing great. Um, looks like everybody's getting along good. Everybody's happy. I hope you are. I hope you're having a great summer together. That's great. Okay, the Eight of Cups reversed. The Eight of Cups is the abandonment card. And reversed is asking, should I stay or should I go? I don't think it's from your home life. I think it's something something else. Um, you're, but you're... Um, not sure if you could tr should try one last time to fix whatever this situation is or if you should release it and go somewhere else. And this could easily be in your um, work life. Um, 
you can't really make a decision. You're, you're sort of just not sure what to do. Um, you want to walk away. That's what your feelings are. You want to walk away from this um, and pursue a different path. And maybe you should if you want to. But let's, let's see here. Let's see if I can help you out. Your next card is the Eight of Wands. Yeah, the Eight of Wands coupled with the Eight of Cups. This is movement. And it's fast, strong movement. This says that you want to get the heck out of here, whatever this is. Um, and again, I don't think it's this. I think it's something work-related. Um, this is change, action. It's a message from the universe to move quickly and it's coming to you quickly. Um, follow how you feel on this or do what you think you should do, of course. If you think you should stick it out and try one more time, then please do that. Um, <clears throat> this is alignment with your higher self, rapid completion. So um, if you do stay, if you're work, just working on a short project, this tells you that you you may be able to complete this and deal with it and then just not work with those people again um that's kind of what this is saying but it's also saying if if you feel like you need to light out of there then please light out of there don't make yourself miserable <clears throat> the five of pentacles okay so the five of pentacles is it's a couple of things. The Five of Pentacles does mean financial loss. It means poverty, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that. This could be that you're coming from a place of lack in some area of your life. It doesn't necessarily have to be financial. Um, maybe you're just, uh, you're feeling that you don't have what you need to sustain yourself. Um, that could be money, but it could also be understanding or communication or clarity. Um, it could be that this here situation, nobody's communicating with each other and it, it could be just like a nightmare like that. So it, it could be that sort of a lack. It doesn't mean that you're in the poorhouse necessarily, but it could mean that too. It could mean that you took a financial hit because you left here. It could be. I'm not really sure. You'd have to tell me on that. I'm just reading the tarot. Don't shoot the messenger. Okay. Your next card is the Five of Wands reversed. The Five of Wands reversed is conflict. It's disagreements. Competition. There's a lot of tension, different opinions, and change. Um, this is kind of coming to an end right now which is good. Um, this could be from whatever this is. I think it is. I think this is a work thing gone awry that, um, you're, you want to step out of that. Like there's just no fixing it kind of thing. It, that's what it kind of looks like. And it, it's causing you financial worry because it's not coming along like here. It's slow results, it's not coming along as you expect, and it's just really bumming you out. Um, so if you have another option, be looking for other options. I'm sure you are. I mean, you, you know that. I'm sure you're looking for other options, and I'm hoping you're finding some good ones, because this is rough right here. This is, um, yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Now we got the seven of swords. So somebody's lying. Um, somebody's being a stinker, uh, really, or there's, there's a whole bunch of stinkers in the people that you're involved with. Um, seven of swords means betrayal, deception. Somebody could be stealing. Somebody could be cheating. Somebody's lying. Um, listen to your intuition on this look for red flags. You probably already seen them. I don't know if there's anything you can do about it though. Um, if you're in a place of, uh, 
control, maybe you can you can boot this person, but maybe this person is over you and there's nothing you can do about it. And maybe that's why you want to bail. I mean, I would. I, I wouldn't put up with that. That's just too much drama for me. I couldn't stand it. Um, so anyway, just kind of listen to your intuition or do it. Do whatever you can. I mean, it's hard if you're in a position where that's maybe people over you because you can't really say anything. I totally understand. Um, so, yeah, this person's going to get theirs eventually, though. They will. They, they will get theirs eventually. And don't be anywhere near them when they do, you know. What's next? Next, we have the King of Cups reversed. The King of Cups is in the reverse position, is moody, emotionally manipulative, domineering, um, having compassion only for oneself. So having no real empathy for other people, just like screw you, I'm the only one that matters type of thing. I know a lot of people like that. Don't you love it? Um, so this, this is bad and this shows that this person is kind of in a place of authority too. So this could be the person that's over you. I mean, that this is just not looking looking real great here. Um, your next card is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords has new ideas, uh, new ways of communicating, curiosity, and a thirst for knowledge. Um, this could be you finding your other options and getting the heck out of here. Um, or it could be figuring out a way to get these people in line, but I kind of, kind of doubt it. There's too much, um, what's the word? Too much corruption going on right here. And too much, too much bad stuff. You need to get away from this bad stuff and get back into the light because this is not, not a good place where you want to be. Aha. Okay. The Nine of Pentacles. This going into this says that I think you've left the situation. I think you have. Um, you have your own idea and you're going to go pursue that instead because this is just like a dead end road for you. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is about abundance, luxury, being self-sufficient, being financially independent. It's about wealth and gain and providing a good, nice home for your family and having that kind of security. So that's good. So it looks like you, you are getting away from this. If you're sitting there deciding should I stay or should I go? Um, I would say go as fast as you possibly can at, at this point from what I'm seeing here. Go. Run. Get the hell out of there. Um, you don't want to, you don't want to mess with this, but it looks like you're going to. And this is telling you that, um, this is kind of a sign from the universe that everything will be okay. So I would, um, cut your losses and get out of there. That, that is not good. Ooh, now you got the King of Pentacles. So leaving that is definitely the right thing to do. Uh, the King of Pentacles is um, success, wealth, business, leadership, security, discipline, and abundance. Um, so this was the right move to get get away from this. You got you got two of these cards here. Um, this could also be that you're the boss now. Maybe you're you're the um, you're self-employed and you're running the show and you're not going to let any of this garbage happen because you saw it once and that was enough for you and you're out of there. Okay. Yeah, and the last one, the Ace of Swords. Now this tells you this is your new beginning. This is another sign along with this. Yes, go forward with this. This is the right thing to do and to ditch all this stuff. Um... So this Ace of Swords is a breakthrough, mental clarity, success, um, having passion about a new issue, and ready to ready for battle, ready to go, having lots of energy, 
and um, enthusiasm toward that. And it, it looks like that's what you did and that's what you need and that's what's happening here. Um, going back to these guys, I just want to say for a minute, this is uh, McLantacutli. Um, he is about separating things down into little pieces. And then his wife is about, after they've separated the little pieces and got rid of the pieces they don't want, his wife is about his wife is about coagula, which is putting them all back together and having a better version of it. So it's basically kicking out the bad eggs and uh, putting them back in the dozen, and then you've got the dozen. Um, so he is telling you to look at each one of these little steps here, see what's going on, see all the little red flags, see all that stuff, um, and if it's not something you can fix, then to ditch it. That's pretty much what he's saying. So if he's throwing out the bad eggs, if you throw out the bad eggs here, you probably end up with like one egg, it looks like. And it doesn't look like it's your show anyway. So um, it's definitely better to move on to, to this and you'll be in control. Um, also, Tezcatlipoco stands for sacrifice. He sacrificed his leg to bait this monster um, so he's saying, cut out, cut out what you don't want. And there's a lot that you don't want here. There's a lot of cards you, that you don't want to deal with. And you know it because you're, you're getting out of there. You're abandoning this whole situation and you got page of swords and ace of swords, which are cutting cards. So he's telling you to cut out of your life what you don't want, even if it's a sacrifice to make it better. And that could be kind of, this is your sacrifice, but it looks like you're gonna be fine. I wouldn't worry about it, I'd just go for it. Um, do the best you can and um, get away from this nonsense because it, it'll just um, just suck the life out of you. You don't wanna be around that type of stuff. All right, Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading today. I sure enjoyed doing it for you. Um, I will do another reading for you next week. Um, please comment, like, subscribe if you would like to. Um, welcome to go visit my website at dragoartworks.com for a private reading. Link is in the description. And other than that, I will be back next week for another reading for you. And have a wonderful day.